Hello friends, welcome to Jomi Tech Solutions. Today we are going to create a calculator in Java using NetBeans. In this video, I will tell you that how you can design and create a nice looking calculator. So guys, let's create a new project in NetBeans. Uncheck create main class. Create a package. Create a JFrame form as main frame. Now here I am going to use a layout which will be divided in three fragments. A top fragment which will contain our value display like digit display. A numpad fragment which will contain clear clear back 0 to 9 digits negative value and a point value as buttons. And last fragment from right side which will contain our operations like addition, subtraction, division, multiplication and the result button. Set all buttons names and their display values according to their functions. So guys, our design is ready now. Let's start coding. We need some custom variables, so let's create variables. Our first variable is a temp which will get value of digit display txt as temporary. Solve temp is a variable which will contain solved result as temporary. We use boolean for all our operators to check that which one is clicked last time. We use a boolean for point to check if point is used or not. Because in double we cannot use double points, it can give null exception error on result. And at last, we use a string variable as display to get digit display along with any extra number or point and set back digit display using display variable. Now let's add our first action to CE. And in its action code, set digit display to empty, set add bool, sub bool, mul bool, and div bool to false, set temp and solve temp to zero, and at last set point bool to false. Now copy this code, add action to C button, and paste this code in C button's listener. Add action to back button, create a string as digit value and get digit display txt value inside it. Create an empty string as new value, clear it using digit value dot replace first, set dot and dollar sign as first string parameter and leave second string parameter empty.
Now use if condition to check if new value is not empty. Set digit display txt with new value and store that new value into solve temp using double parser from string to double. And in else part, set digit display txt to empty. Set solve temp to zero and use option pen to show message that no more remains to remove. Set point bool to false and use return to be safe from software crash. Now add action to numbers and negative value buttons. In their action, get digit display txt to display and set digit display txt using display plus that number or negative value. Here I am copy pasting this code by changing last value as per buttons function to save time. In point action listener, use if statement to check if point is not used and make a string as digit str to get digit display txt and check if digit str is not empty. Now set display with digit display txt by getting its text. Set text of digit display txt with display plus point. And set point bool to true for to restrict doubling. Now add actions to operator buttons. And in their listener use if to check digit display txt is not empty. and set temp with digit display txt by parsing string to double. Set digit display txt as empty. Set that operator boolean to true on which you have added listener. Like if it is multiplication button then set mul bool to true. Now I fast forward this part too because this code also will be applied to all operator so I am just copy pasting this code. Check is point bool is used then set it to false. Add action to result button and in its listener check if digit display txt is not empty. Set solve temp with digit display txt by parsing it from double. Now use if condition that which operator was used to calculate and set solve temp equals to solve temp and that operator if you are in addition use plus sign and then use temp variable to set result in solve temp variable
and now set text of digit display txt with solve temp set add bool sub bool mul bool dev bool to false and point bool to true in else show message using option pane that second value is nil set point bool to true and use return to be safe from software crash let's try to run the program As you can see our program is working perfectly so guys that's all for today hope we will meet in next video until you guys should like comment and subscribe to my channel if you are new or have not subscribed to my channel then please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit on bell icon to get latest videos notifications